Chapter 16, Lesson 4. Exiting controlled access highways. Leaving a highway safely requires planning and skills. Plan for your exit as early as possible. Search to the target area and when you see the sign for your exit, move into the lane designated by the sign. Objective. Describe three possible exiting problems. A deceleration lane is a lane where it's safe to slow your vehicle without blocking the vehicles behind you. Try not to decelerate until you are out of the travel lane and in the deceleration lane. The deceleration lane ends into the exit, leads into the exit ramp, the ramp leading off to the highway. A low posted exit ramp speed may indicate that the exit leads into a sharp curve. If you miss the exit, you want to go to the next exit. Never stop and back up if you go past your exit. On some highways, one lane is used as an exit and entrance, which means that driver's paths may cross on the lane. Exiting traffic should merge behind entering traffic since entering traffic is accelerating. Explain how to apply the IPTA process to exiting a freeway. Applying the IPTA process at exiting. Number one, identify the green guide sign. Number two, identify any potential weave pattern. Three, identify closed and open zones. Four, predict actions of other drivers. Five, decide on the best speed and lane position. Six, execute your maneuver smoothly and blend into in the slower traffic. Objective, list the steps for exiting a freeway. Steps for exiting, identify your exit and the exit ramp speed at least a half a mile before the exit. Predict a stop at the end of the exit ramp. Expect two-way traffic, pedestrians, intersections, and reduce speed. Once you've made the decision to exit, execute the following actions. Check front and rear zones for traffic. Signal and move into lane position 3 for right side exit. 3. Move into the deceleration zone. Turn your turn signal off and tap your brakes. Decelerate gradually and keep three or more seconds of space ahead. Check your speed and your line of sight and path of travel restrictions. Some highways may have shortened deceleration lanes, so you will have to slow down more quickly as you enter deceleration lanes. Judge the length of the lane, identify the exit ramp speed, Check your speed. Most importantly, check traffic behind you. Traffic can back up from an exit ramp into a highway. Ramp overflows are most likely to occur during rush hour traffic. Review. Explain and apply the up the process when you exit an intersection interstate highway. You should look one half mile ahead before exiting an, an interstate highway. Why should you? Why should you? 16. Lesson 5. Highway Problems and Features. Some of the problems associated with driving on interstate highway systems can, cause, can be caused by drivers and other vehicles. Explain how highway hypnosis and velocification creates risks for drivers. Safe driving. By being alert to possible problems and knowing how to react, you'll have the skills that will make you a low risk driver. Drivers. Stay alert can be a problem when you're, you're traveling long distances at a steady speed or are tired. You can be lured into You can be lulled into a, an attentive, drowsy state known as highway hypnosis.
When you first notice that your eyelids want to close, stop at the next exit and take a brief nap or stretch or exercise before continuing. Do not drive any further if you feel that you're too tired to continue. Velocification Happens after hours of freeway driving. You may drive too fast unknowingly because you feel as if you're driving slower than you actually are. Look at the suggested speed limit for the ramps and check your speedometer to make sure you're traveling at the posted speed. Disabled vehicles. Whether you see a vehicle stopped on the shoulder or if your vehicle needs to pull over, be alert for potential conflicts. At first sight of trouble with your vehicle, check rear zones, signal, move as far as possible away from traffic, turn on your hazard lights. If you, if the vehicle is not far off the road, <laughs> if the vehicle is not far off the road, get everyone out and stand to the near side of the vehicle as far away from traffic as possible. Never stand in the highway to direct traffic. When it is safe to do so, raise the hood and tie a white cloth to the antenna or door handle. If you remain in a disabled vehicle, lock all doors. Keep your seat belt, safety belt on and place your head against the head restraint. This will protect you in the event that the vehicle crash some that a vehicle crashes into you. If you have a cell phone, call for help. Ask anyone who stops to assist you to go to a phone and call for help. Never get into a stranger's car. Roadways. Be prepared to slow down when you see orange construction signs. Construction signs and blinking lights indicate the construction zone speed limit. Slow down and follow directions of the person directing traffic. Belts and spurs. A three-digit route identifies beltways and spurs. As you approach a major city, you may have the option to take a beltway or a loop around the city, or a spur or a branch going into the city. Toll plazas. Toll plazas, where you pay a fee for the use of the highways, are hazardous environments for drivers. While stopping, and until there are at least two or three vehicles stop to the rear, continue to monitor the rear view mirror every few seconds. If you see a vehicle approaching fast in the rear, tap your brakes lightly, repeatedly, to get the driver's attention. Electronic poles are becoming more common. As you approach the toll plaza, there will be a sign showing which lane to use. Sometimes there is a bypass lane that is separate from the toll plaza. Electronic tolls make highway driving more convenient and reduce congestion because drivers don't have to stop to deposit coins. Review. Explain why it's dangerous to drive on a highway for extended periods of time without braking, without a brake. Two, explain why it's important to check your speed at exit ramps.